The best part of my job from teaching is to see that my students are successful and are becoming more knowledgeable than me. From the research point of view, I'm also pleased to see that the, the research findings from my students and me have an impact to the AISC design standards. Research and teaching do not conflict at all, in my view. I always enjoy passing what I've learned to the next generation of engineers. Frankly, I'm not so sure I will enjoy academic that much if I cannot teach and interact with students. I treasure very much the opportunities to work on AISC technical committees for the past 25 years. It allows me to interact with the brightest engineers and the researchers in the country. I for sure would not be what I am today had I not been given these opportunities. Professor Columbus Professor Fisher and the late Professor Popov are my role models. They are gentlemen also. Dr. Duran Miller is my top choice from industry. The outstanding technique he develops to convey the knowledge in welding technology to ordinary structural designers is very impressive. Seismic design is indeed complicated when you realize that the volume of the seismic design manual is approaching that of steel construction manual. But the design philosophy is centered on two basic concepts. The first one is ductility design because it is not economically feasible to design structure to remain elastic during a strong earthquake shaking. We carefully select certain structural components to give in in a nice way in order to dissipate earthquake energy. It is these structure fields that we need ductility. AIC seismic provisions provide a straightforward procedure that allows the designer to detail those components to provide ductility. An equally important concept is the capacity design, which is used to design the remaining portion of the structure. For those portion of structures that are not structure fields, should remain elastic. So the challenge is, how do we find out the forces when the structure fuse has yielded or buckled? In reading design examples in the AIC seismic design manuals, I would recommend you pay special attention to the derivation of these forces. This seismic force demand is defined as seismic forces, including overstrength, or capacity-limited seismic forces in design codes. <laughs>